Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Goodbye to Pony. I'm Jeff. I'm Andrew. And we are we're opening our heart to our therapist here. Yeah. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. The pony. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh, <laughs> I, see. I like this subtle little... Uh, oh. From his eyes. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday. When I brushed my teeth. In the meat. Ah, I remember that. And what's so terrible about him? Ah, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian. A real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, <laughs> that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your <laughs> Oh, I actually rather like this. What? Complex. But, but this isn't the, about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. Yes, racked with guilt. guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor He's that very, you, he's taking that very calmly. Oh, well, he has to. Isn't that what you told me earlier? I'm not no, sure it's fine. what their correct response her. from the psychiatrist is. We found out they hear something She's like that. Baby. Uh, I think he's handling it very I well. I should actually talk to my friend who does this. What what he would do in this sort of situation. Sure, yeah, do it. Well, not right I'm now. No, text him right now. All right. There's so mm, much left no, to don't do that. And so little time. Nope. <laughs> my phone's right here. I could have texted him. Nah. Ah, we're busy. I suppose. <laughs> it would be, be a weird question to look at your text. Myself. So, if you were no helping way. someone and they said I'm they killed a girl, what would you do? I was referring yeah. to the other two me's. I'm Hypothetically speaking. getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure. But sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yes. Yes. Are you even listening to me? All right. I was I dead. I was dead. You mean... You had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm. Like a nightmare at first. Then, I remember a light. And eventually, I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, <laughs> I see. I think by the end of this, he's like, and you, sir, should be in an insane asylum. I could tell locked you away where you can harm I no one else. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the <laughs> underwire from Grandpa's bra. Uh, I see. Oh, his backstory is getting all the more interesting. Wow. Let's change the subject, shall we? <laughs> Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. <laughs> um, yeah. No, no, let, let's go through them in order. It's not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? It's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. Uh, yeah, I you know what? I would love to talk about myself again. Yeah, I don't see how it can be <laughs> Oh, never mind. I guess, I guess we've, we've mined that well, of all its potential. Yeah. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm. How about a Rorschach test? What? You're going to lock me up in a shack with a lion? Uh, it's an association. Interesting fact that I've learned from my, my friend about the Rorschach test, right? But don't get your hopes um, up. It's only, apparently it's only properly viable if you've never been actually exposed to it before. Mm. So when people see that sort of thing show up in movies, it actually ruins it, apparently, as an actual analytic tool for, for them. Really? Yes! And the fact that you can just go online and see all this stuff, too. 
Um, yeah, that looks like Elysium. Majestically a throne. Ah! Yeah. Elysium. Majestically enthroned, high above Deponia. And yes. that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving me order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. <laughs> Perhaps and they're not rumors. Proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? What do you see, buddy? How uh, about death? There's no death option. You have to pick one of these three. Butterfly. Butterfly. A gorgeous butterfly. You what? A butterfly, you know, flitting through the air. Not a care in the world. Uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. <laughs> this is not about being right or wrong. It's just that... Most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> Most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a butterfly if it fluttered up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. I think we're really getting to the deep inner, inner psyche of, of Rufus here. A uh, great hero. A great hero. Myself. I see a great hero. Myself. Please, be serious, <laughs> will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right. That's <laughs> it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. Hmm. And please stay away from me. Far away. Way to go, Jeff. But I want the medicine. Hands off the antidepressant. All right. Well, let's talk to him again. I need another therapy Maybe. Session. What? Again? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. Let's get over with. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you just write me a prescription of some kind? Oh, really? All this is taking much too long. While we're chewing the fat here, part of me is already halfway to Elysium, while the other part is still roaming the sewers. Bravo! That was a very figurative and extremely precise piece of self-analysis. You are making enormous Yeah, progress, progress, buddy! Last thing I want to do now is put you Damn. on vacation. Rats, rats, rats! I guess we gotta yeah. do the right combo with the cards. Again? You mean you wanna repeat the Rorsch? All right. Uh, yeah, this give it to me. I'm gonna win. I just know. Yeah, we're gonna win it. All right. So, what did... Uh... Yeah, let's go with... Elysium taking off towards Utopia. Well, we've already been through that. Something quite similar, at least. The next picture, then? Okay... What do you see here? Um, a cute little birdie or a lovely glitter elf? Uh, that's your call. I'm going to go with a lovely uh, glitter elf. A lovely glitter elf. So you really don't see anything else here? But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but uh, no matter. Let's okay. move on. What do you see here? Uh... Ah, that's my picture on the front page, as man of the year. So you really don't see anything else here? Hmm. But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but... Uh, no matter. Right, that's if you prefer goofing off. Okay, so... There is a there is a game at foot. And please stay. Finger focus. Oh, right. I still need a suitable subject for a heroic deed. Oh, All right. Metal type in yerk. Printer zinc. Wait a minute. I think we can sabotage the oh I was like, maybe we can sabotage the, the test. But maybe not. There's a button. Or there's a screw on the other side of him. I noticed that. All right, but hold on a second. Take a look at this. Obtain psychotropic drugs. I want to let me do the thing. Damn you, game. It's the second time you've done that to me. All right, we're going to go over there then. Uh, we just got to go over. 
Yeah, we are at the rope store. Test samples. Mmm, velvety. It flatters the neck. <laughs> He's too <laughs> cheerful about this job. Day to you, sir. Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm. What are the financing options? <laughs> a man with gallows humor. I like that. But we only accept cash, unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Nah. I don't really mm, that's know. not bad. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course, take your time and don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something on. Well, I'm glad he's, you know, helpful about these things. Display merchandise, a flyer. Take ah, that flyer. I see you are interested in our flyer. Give me the flyer. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter Ooh. fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. That's um, what terrible. Are you doing? Well, I'm making a paper airplane. What else? Oh, my beautiful flyer! Oh, let's see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test box. Okay. Wait a minute, can I... Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. On the other hand, the information in there could make somebody's life a lot easier. And I doubt that he, of all people, is ready to be helped. It's true what they say. Hmm. Doctors make the worst patients. I'll certainly keep that idea in the back of my mind. All right. Let's hold on to that for now. What else? We got the. We got a sign. We got a sign. We got a poster. A sign. More signs. And the rope setter. All right, I'm gonna. And test samples. I'm gonna go. Mm. I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna keep looking around. Got more places to go still. There we are. Hello. An antenna. Can I take it? Just FYI, this time I'm breaking it off on purpose. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, of course. I mean, I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit more. Yeah, there we are. Got an antenna. We've got some ladies. Sergeant Bambi. Isn't that, isn't that her? And Lottie. Get to the rubble camp. All right, yeah, let's. Bambina, Lottie, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now officers. <coughs> officers of the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Officers, <laughs> you. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now, and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> I remember, yeah, he was the guy at the yeah, the, at the very first game. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've seen her. Them. Her and her. Yeah. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That cop is chasing. <laughs> Oh, they're going to kill him. Yeah, where are the real rebels? Where are the real rebels? What do you mean, real? Do you think this is a dream or something? Want me to poke you with a needle? I got one what right kind of tattoo she's getting? Stick it all the way in if I have to. Oh, oh that's what they're doing. I, I, mean, I, the I didn't even rebels. notice. Janosch, Garleth, Leibold, the old gang, you know. Oh, them. Janosch is left on a mission. All right. As I know. Garleth and Leibold are in the camp. Uh, right behind that gate. Huh. Well, they'll have to do for now. Yeah, we'll just have to take over then. So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because... Oh, Rufus. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake. I always knew you was an idiot. But a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 sombrero! You see, even Lonnie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against toxicants, right? Never. Or wombat. Oh, I love wombat. There's some... They're, They're no platypus, animals. though. Exactly. Nah. Just like women. Platypi are the best. Even vampire platypi. Superior officer present. Ah, where? Behind you. 
Naturally, I was referring to myself, you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah, right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader. Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command. Yeah, we're as the well. boss. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? <laughs> squad leaders, generals. Who do you think it is, Tony? It's a pretty good guess, actually. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. You can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. <laughs> All right, let's. Hello. Let's take a look over here. Something's moving back there. It's hard for normal eyes to tell what it is, but I can see it's a, it's um, it's a, it's a blurry blob. Uh, no doubt about it. Oh, those cunning blurry blobs. Oh, man. They're sneaky. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Hey, hey, buddy. What luck? Uh, let me in. Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me, Rufus. Come on, you must recognize your leader. You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yenna. Yeah, but I'm right here. That's your opinion. <sighs> I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in. I, I like I the new music. No, I can't. How it's because Bambino looks like a hippie now. Spy. Yeah, yeah that it's a like cake. after all, Vietnam I War. started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you. Huh. This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. All right, then. Well, uh, things are... What's that? I don't know. It's it's that the Upper Ascension Station. Upper Ascension Station. Somewhere up there. The last... Okay, then. So... Let's talk to the editor. I haven't talked to him yet. He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. All right. Great. Mission accomplished. Pretty solid. Um. Maybe she wants to buy a rope. Can I trade you some interesting knickknacks nope. for a burrito? A burrito, buddy. All right. Hmm. Maybe throw the airplane in the sewer? Yeah, right. I worked hard for this, and I'm certainly not going to toss it out. No, we need... That's not going to work. All right, let's... We're in settlement. Hmm. So we don't have the antidepressants yet for him. Flyer? Mama Bozo? I may... Whoa, I already lost nah. that. He didn't want it. <laughs> oh, well, then I'll keep looking. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe we can save the mailman? Help a mail carrier out of a tight spot. That wouldn't even make the classified. Damn. <laughs> wait a minute. I just had a thought. The baby? Yes. Hold on. Follow my impulse. Mm. Yeah, that blurry blob. Finger focus. That is for sure a gorilla. We can save gorillas. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course. That's yes. Bozo. In great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Right. We're on the right track now. Great. So we're going to take a little break here. And then we're going to save that baby. Okay. See everybody soon. Take care, everyone.